Hello folks, and thank you for watching Redbeard Shaves. Today's shave is going to be a razor review brought to you from one of you. One of my viewers recommended a razor for me to try, and I actually reached out to the company that I'll introduce here in a second, and they were kind enough to send me one, and I've been reviewing it over the last few days, and it will be a future giveaway on the channel. So, also brought to you today is from Josh of Shoot in the Shave. He did his top five summer soaps video today. If you haven't checked him out, I'll link his channel below. And one of the soaps that he chose was A&E Summer Fig. And we're gonna be going out and doing a barbecue today for Mother's Day. And I thought this would be a nice green fruity fig scent, be perfect for being outside. And it is really a good scent. And of course the base never disappoints. And then I always bring out this brush on special occasions. It is Glen Helly, also known as the Godfather, Sea Monster, Sea Mister. Pretty soon he's gonna have the most nicknames of any YouTuber on YouTube. But he absolutely loves the Wolf Whisker coin. So today I'm using my Wolf Whiskers brush for Glen. And that's what I'm going to be lathering up the dome with. Now, the razor that was recommended to me, I know other YouTubers have used this, and somehow it just hasn't been on my radar. I had never heard of it before a viewer mentioned it. And it was the same viewer that mentioned the Defender razor, also mentioned the Leaf razor. And so I reached out to Leaf, asked if they ever did any demos or anything for YouTubers, and they go, yeah, we'll send you one. So they sent me the silver leaf razor. Uh, first impressions on grabbing it in comparison to the Defender is this has weight to it. This has weight just like an actual safety razor or DE razor. And I really liked the feel of the weight. Now you use three half blades in this, half DE blades, so you can either buy the salon pack of the half DE blades already broken, or you can just break DE blades in half, which is what I have done. And you have this little lock screw on the back. You just unscrew that all the way. It does not pop out. I guess some of their earlier versions, this nut would pop out and could get lost, but they have fixed that. And then this lays into your three different spots. I'm going to use, in line with another YouTuber today, IMCBD uses Persona Reds in his leaf quite frequently. And that's what I've been shaving in with it. And it's been quite lovely. So a shout out to Chris for that. And I'm just feeling energized about the community. So, see if I can do this on camera for you. So, you have your half blade. It slips right into the groove. And a magnet actually holds it in place. And then you put down your next bar. Grab your next half blade. And that slips into place. Except I skipped the first step, so just a second. First one's on the base plate there. And that slips into place. And then you have all three blades there. And then you re tighten your set screw. Give that a little snug. As you can see, this head does pivot, so it's kind of a hybrid between a safety razor. Use the safety razor blades. It's got the weight of a safety razor, but it has the pivoting action of a cart. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the head, get this lather going. Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. All you mothers out there, I hope you're having a wonderful Mother's Day. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, so thank you very much. And yeah, like I said, I'm just feeling pretty 
energized about the whole wet shaving community right now. Last night I had a very lengthy two three hour phone call with Chris from IMCDB and Glenn the Godfather from Glen Helly Shaves and it was a pretty awesome conversation. We just geeked out over shave geekery for man it had to be pushing three hours. I actually looked outside and realized it was dark and went, oh boy, I gotta go guys. I've been talking for a long time. But it was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful conversation we had amongst the three of us. Just talking shave gear and YouTube and different tips and tricks of the trade for YouTube. And just different conversations, got to know each other on a more personal level. And it was really, really wonderful. Woke up early this morning, wasn't able to sleep, and caught up on a bunch of really great YouTube vids. That's where I saw, whoops, just dropped the brush. Um, Josh from Shoot in the Shave just saw his video this morning. Gave me the idea of the soap to use today. Because I really wasn't sure what I was going to shave with. I was kind of having shave block with, oh my goodness, what am I going to choose? So thank you, Josh, for that suggestion. And just saw some really nice videos out there. And it was kind of fun. So I'm going to get this shave going. My wife's getting ready in the other bathroom, and then we're heading off. It's not just Mother's Day in our family. It's also my dad's birthday today. So happy birthday, Dad. Happy Mother's Day, Mom, and to my wife, Jamie. And we're just going to party it up today. All right, now on to the razor. Leaf razor, Persona Reds or Persona Platinums, first use. And we're going to start with with the grain. Been using this razor... Used it four or five times now. Been very impressed with it. It's extremely comfortable to shave with. Uh, very easy. Actually, with the longer handle, it gets some areas on my neck that are harder to hit with a standard DE. And one of the things about cartridge razors that I really remember or a multiple blade razor is that I always hated that it would clog up. Well this razor does not clog at all. It whisks those whiskers away, it rinses that soap out clean, it holds in some moisture after you've rinsed it out where you're then applying some fresh water to the head or to the face. Now, off camera, I'm going to actually use it on my face for the first time today, but you will notice that it's kind of a wide head. I have a mustache, obviously, so I'm not trying to get in under the nose. I could see that that could possibly be a little problematic. But for head shaver, it's been very efficient, very smooth, very comfortable. Kind of like I mentioned with the Defender Razor, where I didn't enjoy it because it was lightweight and I felt like I didn't have to think about it. This razor will cut you. You do have to pay attention to it. But just having the weight of it and the feel in the hand has given me that DE feel. So I really, really enjoy it. been very comfortable to use. Uh, one word of caution is that if you get the handle wet or slick with soap, it is pretty slippery. It'd be nice if this had a little additional knurling or something on there to help. Uh, I don't run into too much of a problem with it because the razor handle is so long. I'm able to rinse it out 
without getting water where my hand is holding. But this just flows with that pivoting head, flows right to the contours of my head with the three blades in there. It's very efficient, very smooth. I have gotten zero irritation with it. Got this awesome A&E slickness going on where I can go over parts of my head with no visible lather. And another viewer said that my shave today should be a pampering shave after I got massacred from the Parker variant. And so this is definitely a nice, luxurious, enjoyable shave that I'm experiencing right now. All right, from the soap to the brush to the razor, that's rapidly turning into one of my new favorites. Uh, very, very luxurious shave. I am curious to see how this is gonna shave on my face. If you guys would like to see a video of me face shave with the leaf, please let me know in the comments below and I can put that together for you. Or if it's just something that, due to the width of the head, you're not really that interested in seeing it, you don't think it would work under the nose, uh, let me know either way. No problems putting that together for you. Ooh, this scent. If you have not tried Summer Fig by A&E, it is very fig forward, but then it has this just awesome clean green fragrance that comes out underneath it too blended really well of course a and e's product is very superb in my idea it's one of my favorites uh, excellent cushion excellent residual and primary slickness has a lot of good skin food within the soap and then his splashes, Peter's splashes, are absolutely fantastic. All right, against the grain with the leaf. I'm also pretty excited going up to my brother and sister-in-law's for the barbecue. Uh, I will get to see a couple of the goats that I'm bringing home in a couple of weeks once they're off of Mama's Milk. One of their names is S'more. And the other one's name is Groot. <laughs> so pretty fun names there. So I'll be pretty excited to meet them today. Watch Nolan play with them. Of course, Nolan will be running around like a banshee playing with all of his cousins, and it'll be fun childhood chaos on a happy level. Mmm, so smooth. Really comfortable shaver. You can get away with putting a little bit of pressure on the razor with this without it cutting you. Or the razor itself is heavy enough that it'll do the work without that added pressure on there. Very, very comfortable. I don't know yet if this will take the place of my number one razor. I plan on doing some side-to-side -side testings with my favorite razors out there. But so far, impressions are pretty good because it's just so efficient.
I really hope you guys are having some great shaves out there. I hope that you're enjoying the wet shaving community as much as I do. I definitely encourage you to get involved, reach out to some Facebook groups if you're not a part of them. Um, reach out to YouTubers, get to know some YouTubers. There's a, in this cut, that's left over from the Parker variant yesterday, so that's just me knocking off that scab. I'm chatting with a fellow down under right now, trying to help him out with improving his slickness. And he just reached out to me after seeing one of my shave of the days, and I believe he watches the channel also and just asked if he could PM me. And I was like, absolutely, what you got going on? So we've been trying different things out to get him some better shaves, and it's been really nice talking with him, so it's been a pleasure, Steve. Thank you for reaching out. And that's what I really love about this community. A lot of, a lot of good people out there, a lot of positivity, a lot of people with a lot of experience, even more than me, that are always willing to help people to have a better and more comfortable shave. And they get their shave geekery on with each other. I'm going to go ahead and do a cold water rinse. And that is just buttery, silky, BBS smooth. Absolutely fantastic shave. And speaking of giveaways, I have the items picked out and ordered for my 500 subscriber giveaway. Just right now, everything in the mail is taking so long and it hasn't shipped to me yet. So once I get those items in stock, uh, in my hands, I'll be putting together a 500 subscriber giveaway video. Appreciate all of you that have subscribed, commented, liked, shared my content. I really appreciate it. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I'm going to use the matching Summer Fig Splash today. Excellent skin food in this. And I'm pretty excited about this 500 subscriber giveaway. It's gonna be big. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about it because there's some pretty rad gear that I'm gonna be giving away. Mm. Such an awesome shave. Okay, so the leaf has been performing phenomenally for me. Uh, super smooth shaver, very, very efficient. I like the weight of the handle. I do wish that it had a little bit of knurling on the handle. Um, that's something that maybe leaf will change in the future or maybe not, I don't know. But this razor will be cleaned and up for giveaway at some point in the future. So be on the lookout for that. It won't be my 500 subscriber giveaway. It'll be sometime after that. But make sure you subscribe and follow the channel to get a chance to win this. Hope you guys are having an excellent day. Remember to do something nice for someone. It'll make you feel better. Get involved in this wet shaving community. It really is packed full of great people. And on that note, you guys have a wonderful day. This is Redbeard out. Take care.